Investors throughout Asia are having to swallow yet another dose of disaster from Europe. Fear is actually starting to feed on itself uh, and that's not a good environment for businesses to make decisions in or investors. Markets throughout Asia fell between 2 and 4 percent. Around $45 billion was wiped off Australia's All Ordinaries Index, which tumbled more than 3.5 percent. Nothing was spared, with the big bank and resource stocks down between 3 and 7 percent. There's bearishness everywhere, and um, you know, there are, there's a buyer strike on, and, you know, for, for understandable reasons. Last week's resignation of a European Central Bank board member highlighted the divisions in Europe. Now there's speculation Germany is preparing for a Greek default. Europe will be my in recession for a long time and that will affect the uh, ex uh, exporting countries in Asia. And there are major concerns about the impact all this will have on the global financial system through Europe's biggest banks in France and Germany holding Greek debt. And that's going to take a whole host of capital out of the European banking system, which was already vulnerable. Also vulnerable is the Eurozone and its currency, which is being dumped. The Euro has been a, mor a moribund currency, really, for some time now. And uh, you, you cannot keep it in its current form with its current membership. I think it is a question of months, really, that we see the whole thing disintegrate. Leaving the rest of the world watching helplessly as their wealth also disintegrates. Philip Lasker. ABC News.